All right, thanks for making it back to the channel, you all. We're gonna get into the actual tech segment today, okay? And it'll be about Google Translate. Now, I know that you guys already use Google Translate a lot, probably, on a day-to-day -day basis or you know, whenever you go on vacation and things like that. However, there's a lot more that you can do with Google Translate that I'm gonna show you today. And like I said before, as far as going on vacation, you're actually able to translate languages from paper, right? Um, you can translate late, translate languages verbally. You can do certain things like that. So I'm gonna show you how to get that taken care of. And it makes life a whole lot easier when you're traveling and you may not understand their language. You don't need to know it, okay? All you need to do is connect to your phone and know how to use the actual tools that you have at your disposal, okay? So, all right, so we're gonna get into this really quick and this will be a short video. Oh, and also make sure you check out my Instagram page. You'll see that right there on the screen. And also, don't forget, Cash App. I really appreciate all you guys' support, okay? I've been getting an overwhelmingly amount of support monetarily and things like that on the Cash App. So thank you so much, guys, for everything that you do. And you'll see the Cash App right there. So let's jump into it. Okay, so let's get into the Google Translate app, guys. All right, and basically, if you don't have this on your phone, uh, you can find it in Play Store, okay? You also can find it in the App Store on your iPhone. And this is what you'll see. So it'll say Google Translate. And so just look exactly for that application right here, okay? All right, so let's jump into it here. Okay, so this is what the Google Translate app is gonna look like, guys, okay? So I'm going to start from the top down just about at the top right hand corner. You'll see a little circle with a, like a little blue person in the inside. That right there is where your emails that are configured with Google. That's where you'll see all of them itemized in that section. OK, I'm not going to touch that area right now because that has personal information of mine in there in that area. OK, all right, let's move right along here. Um, you can change the, you can swap the languages back and forth. So right here at the top left, you see English over there to the right, you see Spanish that can be swapped. So if you hit the little arrows in the middle, like, so it'll swap the position. Spanish is now on the left and English is on the right. However, I'm going to go ahead and start with English on the left here to show you guys some things. Okay. You can also change the language. So at the top left hand corner, it says English. If you touch English, you'll see a multitude of different um, uh, language uh, here. You know, you see a whole lot of them here if you scroll through and you can just choose one, select it and it'll change it from there. At the top right hand corner, it says Spanish. The same thing goes also. So you can pick any language. I mean, it's a plethora of languages here that you can choose from. You know, we can go Filipino, boom. And there you go, okay? So you all probably know about this already where you can just put basic words in like I typed in dog and then on the keyboard you hit go. Once you hit go, it automatically translate um, that word for you. OK, and you can do a couple of things on this page um, it, right there where it has a little horn at the top left hand corner by English. If you touch that horn dog, it'll actually say the word to you. Okay. So you can hear it. Uh, the same thing with Spanish. If you touch the little horn next to Spanish, Perro. it'll tell you the same exact thing. Okay. Which is pretty, pretty cool. All right. Um, also on this page, if you look at like midway point, you know, on the screen here, it has a G for Google. You can hit that, um, translations there from Google it give you definitions and things like that. The little square with the arrow facing up, if you touch that, and I'm not going to touch that because that does have my personal information, but if you touch that, you can actually send these translations, whether that be through text message, email, Dropbox, however you want to send it, okay? Um, if you hit this um, little square uh, on the right-hand side of that square and arrow facing up, it'll just enlarge the word so you can see it a whole lot better. 
Okay, and then the, the next one on the right hand side of that, it looks like another square and then it's outlined on the left hand side. That right there, if you touch that, uh, you can actually copy uh, what you're translating and you can set it any type of way right there, okay? All right, at the bottom you have your alternate uh, translations and you'll see all of those, you know, down in that area right there, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and go back here. All right, so that's, like I said, most of you guys already probably know about that. Um, let's go ahead and show you at the very bottom. So you have home, which is a little house. Everybody knows what the home button is. You have saved. So let me show you something, watch this. If you had a translation, whether that be a word or a sentence, and you want to save it, because you, you, you probably use it often, Okay, on the right hand side, you have some little stars. All you have to do is touch the star and it'll turn it yellow. Touch the star and it'll turn it yellow, okay? And then at the very, very bottom, if you hit saved, it'll have all of them here, okay? And you'll see all of your uh, uh, saved favorite, which is the star is like saved favorites. So you'll see all of them in this section, okay? All right, which is pretty, pretty cool. Uh, on the right hand side of save, you'll see settings and it has a lot of other important information in the settings, the feedback, help, about section, uh, speech input. OK, so you can block uh, offensive words and things like that, which is cool. Um, speech region, uh, pronunciation speed, which is cool, because so you can slow that down on the pronunciation speed to normal, slow or slower. OK. Um, you have offline uh, translations, default apps, Siri shortcuts, which is cool. All right. And then you can send crash app reports too if anything's going wrong. You can clear the translation history, um, you know, if the app is running kind of slow or anything like that. All right. So let's go back to the home page. Now, this is what I really, really want to show you. Okay. This was beyond amazing to me. So if you're going on vacation, you know, to Russia, or if you're going on vacation to Costa Rica, uh, Colombia, places like that, Brazil, where they speak Portuguese, you can translate languages. And when I say translate the language, you can actually translate from a piece of paper or signage. So if you see, if you're in a restaurant and you don't know, you don't know what you're ordering because it's in a different language, you can actually do this. Watch this, you're really gonna like this. All right, so I'm gonna hold up my tablet here. All right, and right there where it says camera, it has a blue camera and it says camera. If you touch that, all right, you can translate the language. That's crazy, and it does it automatically. And so this is my tablet right here, guys, that I'm holding up. And it has something in English in the background. So at the top, you can actually see where it says English, and it translates it to Spanish. Pretty freaking cool. So it does it automatically for you, okay? If you touch that, that's pretty, pretty cool. Okay, and so then at the very bottom in blue, it says scan, okay? This is another function of the app. So if you touch that where it says scan, touch the little white circle that's outlined in white and gray. If you touch that, it'll scan it, right? All right, and then what's cool about this is you can take your finger, swipe left and right, left and right. It's like a little crayon almost. Left and right, left and right. And you have to keep filling it in, fill in everything that you wanted to translate. All right, once you do that, then all you do, there's a little circle at the top right hand corner, a white arrow, blue circle. If you touch that, boom, it'll actually translate it for you, which is pretty, pretty cool. So it has the English at the top, and then if you keep going towards the bottom, you actually have Spanish. Now that's pretty cool, that's pretty cool, okay? Okay, so also if you look at the bottom right hand corner, it'll say import touch. Okay, so this right here, I had this in my gallery. So say for instance, you were sitting down, you had a menu in your hand, you could take a picture of the menu, okay? It'll be in your gallery, okay? When you hit, uh, when you swipe left and right, you can do it. It's just like a little crayon, swipe left and right, anything that you want to translate, okay? 
left and right, left and right with your finger. All right. All right. So then all you do is hit the little blue circle at the top right hand corner, white arrow. OK, touch that. And voila. OK, it'll translate from Spanish to English, which is cool. So you can actually, you know, look at it and see it from here and understand what you're reading to be able to order your food. OK, so that's pretty neat. Let's go back to home. All right. So we're done with the camera section there. Let's go to conversation. OK. All right. So in this section, you can manually translate languages. OK. All right. So when one person is actually speaking into the phone, it'll translate. The other person will manually touch what they want to translate and it'll translate that language also. So let me let me show you here from here. So basically what you're going to do is uh, mine at the very, very bottom. I have mine set on Spanish to English. So I'm going to change that. I'm going to change that from English to Spanish. OK, so let's go ahead and here we go. Hello, how are you doing today? Hola, ¿cómo estás hoy? OK. So it translate that for you. Now, what the other person needs to do, or you can do it, is hit Spanish at the bottom right hand corner. So just touch that. Be in. Well. That's it, guys. So that's pretty cool. If you're having a like a one on one conversation with somebody, you can go back and forth with it. Um, in the very middle, it has both. So what this will try to do is automatically translate the languages without you manually touching the screen. And it doesn't work too well sometimes, I notice. So let's go ahead and try it. What is your name? ¿Cuál es su nombre? Mi nombre es Ivan. My name is Ivan. All right, guys, so it actually it actually worked that time. Well, that's cool. All right. So, yeah. So with that right there, let me go back to it with conversations. If you hit both. Si aciertas a ambos. With conversations, if you hit both right there, as I said before, it'll translate it automatically where it's more fluid with the conversation. OK. All right. Moving right along here. Uh, let's go to transcribe. Hello, how are you doing today? All right, and as you can see, it's translating everything that I'm saying right now into Spanish. So that's what transcribe is. It's pretty straightforward and it'll keep going as long as I'm talking. And the other person will be able to read this if you give them the phone. So that's cool. All right, exit it out of this area. All right. Also, keep in mind, you can delete what populates at the bottom. So everything that you search is going to populate at the bottom to save it. I mean, not to save it, but to give you the option to save it. OK, so if you swipe left or right on whatever you translate it at the bottom, if you swipe left, it'll delete it. OK, and if you swipe right, it'll delete it. And it tells you at the bottom you can shake to undo this action. OK, and it'll populate back into that area. That's another little cool thing. Also, guys, look at the top right hand corner. There is a pen right up under Spanish. If you touch that pen, you can write. OK, you can actually write out with your finger. All right. So and then it'll translate that way, too. So say, for instance, I write dog. There it goes. All right. And at the very bottom, pero. OK, so that's how you say dog in Spanish, which is pretty freaking cool. All right. So you can write it out. You can even write it out in cursive. And it still understands. OK, cursive is not that great. But um, also, there's a little keyboard midway 
um, of the screen on the right hand side, guys. All right. And if you touch that little white keyboard, you can actually type, you know, what you want to put in. So uh, I'll put cat this time, hit go. And then it takes you back to your home screen uh, and gives you the translation thereof for that. OK. All right. So that's pretty cool. OK, so on the right hand side of the little pin at the top right hand corner, right up under Spanish, there's a little pin on the right hand side of that. There's a little uh, microphone. If you touch that, it will translate anything that you say from this point. So if you t you're talking in English and you have it set from English to Spanish, it's going to give you the translation from English to Spanish or vice versa. And there you go, guys. So it automatically translated the language uh, from English at the top to Spanish. All right, guys. And if you look at the very, very bottom, if you scroll down to the bottom of under alternate translations, it'll actually give you the definitions also. OK, uh, for whatever you're looking for. So you'll see the definitions up under there. So you don't even have to go to Google because it'll give you definitions at the bottom, too, guys. So. Um, I hope this gave you a little bit more information about Google Translate. And like I said, it's just an awesome tool for when you're going on vacation uh, and you may not understand their language and you don't have anybody there with you to translate. You can use your phone as long as you're connected to data, you know, your your you know, your uh, telecommunications data or either Wi-Fi. This will work for you. Um, and it's just an awesome tool. Like I said, hold it up to a menu. It's easy. I mean, if you're walking somewhere and you don't understand what it says, you're kind of nervous about something, hold your phone up to it and you can translate that language. Or if a person is speaking with you, you don't have to guess about it anymore. Uh, you can just take this phone out, do some of the things I showed you, uh, whether that be, you know, if they want to verbalize something into the phone, you'll understand what they're saying. You can relay that information back to them, too, in their language so they can understand. So I appreciate you guys uh, coming to the page. Please like, comment and subscribe would be awesome, awesome, awesome. And remember, I'm not from this planet.